All right, so welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be working out again. Today, my main aim is to be working up to heavy top sets of five on just a few different exercises. Probably some more rack pulls, some more bench, and I'll see what else. I might do some dumbbell clean and presses, some dumbbell snatches. Maybe uh, play around with squats again, see if I can do an overhead squat. But yeah, just have some fun. But the main idea, the main core to work out is some heavy top sets of five. And I'll probably continue doing sets of five throughout this week and then next week work into sets of three. And then after week after that, work down to sets of two and then sets of one and so on as I try to improve my strength. All right, let's get into the workout. All right, so today I decided to do front squats instead of back squats because one of my main aims during this strength phase is to really strengthen my posterior chain and that's because one of my main problems in judo is that I get dragged down a lot and being one of the tallest players that's a pretty common tactic for player um, for other people to use against me is to just try and drag me down and break my posture and so having front squats having the weight above you in front of you makes it a lot harder for you to uh, keep upright so the weight's trying to really break you in half and so your muscles from your lower back and your upper back have to fight to keep you upright and also here I'm just doing some overhead squats just to test out my mobility and I was pretty happy to actually be able to do an overhead squat because well that's the first time I've ever done an overhead squat so then I went back into front squats and I didn't really want to work too hard on these I'm trying to still rehab my knee and I've been the last two days my knee's been starting to feel a little better again and I did just try and do a overhead squat with, uh, nar with narrower hands but it did not work so back to the front squats I went one of the reasons that I'm cleaning the bar from the rack is that I'm still trying to practice the Olympic style movements because I have a theory that the Olympic lifts can actually be very beneficial for judo because of the uh, first initial pull and then the drop under the bar and then from catching the bar you drive with your legs and up into a jerk which is um, you know a similar muscle sequence to a throw where you do a big pull and then you drop under your opponent and then drive into a throw and so I just think it might be a nice controlled setting to practice those muscles but without having a turn so you can do a little bit more weight but um, just testing out this theory and maybe it will turn out well or it will I don't think it will actually be a waste of time because the Olympic movements are very good at improving your explosiveness. They're one of the main speed strength exercises. So at least it won't be a waste of time, but I think it will have a really uh, high carryover into judo. And we'll wait to see if that you know, comes to fruition when judo comes back and when I have learned how to do these Olympic movements properly my first step is I need to buy Olympic weightlifting shoes when I return home so that I'm not using weights for a heel lift but so far my progress on these Olympic lifts have been pretty good the uh, hip pop has been one of my main problems I feel and I'm starting to get a lot better at that you know it's a very foreign concept to be bouncing the bar off your thighs and then catching it in a rack position but I've been uh, getting accustomed to it pretty well and to improve on my hip hop I decided to add it into my rack pulls so that I get used to uh, doing a pull and using my hips to really explode into the bar and to do that with heavier weight because Otherwise, I would have been doing that movement with weights 
under 60 kilos because that's um, what I'm gonna have my limit at for squats for the moment. And so to really you know improve the Olympic Olympic style movements, I need to get used to some of the heavier weights while my knees get better and catch up to the rest of my body. And there I just got told off for doing rack pulls because as you can tell this is a pretty noisy exercise and this rack is not the strongest. I think it might have a 200 kilo weight limit which I hope it doesn't because then I'll run out of and I'll be using weights too heavy pretty soon but there's another, look at, there's another rack in the gym, I'll give that one a try, maybe tomorrow. But my rack pulls went very well today, I think. I was getting my hips into it a lot more, and doing sets of five feels pretty good. I'm feeling nice and explosive through these. And for my top set on rack pulls, I decided to use straps that I found in the gym because I started to feel my grip failing doing these uh, sets of five and I think that's what I'll probably do for the meantime is uh, use double overhand for most of my sets and then on my top set or when my grip starts failing I'll put straps on but I am trying to strengthen my grip using these rack pulls so I'll try and limit my use of straps but they are pretty useful when you get to really heavy weights because at a certain point your forearm muscles are a lot smaller than your hip muscles so you can expect that your grip will eventually fail you. And now onto the bench. And I had a very good bench session. I'm really liking this closer grip for bench because of the range of motion and it really feels nice on my front of my shoulders and my pecs because having the, your hands out farther makes um, the stretch on the pecs a lot, a lot more and that, feel, that feels like it increases the uh, risk of a pec tear when you do this bench. And so the close grip is feeling pretty good. I would recommend trying it out. So I wanted to start adding some more unorthodox exercises into my routine and there's not too many options at this gym for, you know, out of the box sort of exercises but dumbbell cleaning press is something I haven't done before. It's one of the major strongman exercises and I've been getting into strongman a little bit and so I wanted to give it a try. and. I think it's actually a very good exercise, it's a nice full body exercise and you get a lot out of it and it's pretty fun. It's, uh, yeah, it's very fun to just throw a weight above your head and catch it. So that's the uh, end of my workout now. I thought it was um, pretty successful again. Got up to 160 for rack pulls. 
go up to 90 kilos for bench. I think I could have done 100 for five, but I just wanted to play it safe and, uh, you know, because my shoulders are feeling kind of tight, so I didn't want to risk any injury. And then I managed to try out some uh, dumbbell clean and press, which is the first time I've ever done that exercise. And I got up to, I was just got up to 40 kilos for a single. I was just trying out and seeing, you know, where I'm at in terms of strength. I think maybe if I, you know, did it before bench press, I could probably get up to 45 kilos, maybe 50 if I was really feeling it. So I might try that out later on and, you know, test them out. I can't really be dropping weights in this gym, so I don't think I can go super heavy or for a lot of reps because the risk of dropping the weights becomes higher and uh, I don't think they'll like that. So. I have to be pretty controlled with what I do here, but overall pretty good workout, I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, I'll see you next time.